Danielle now for our first look at the forecast. Danielle, you almost forget that we're like it's autumn, we're in fall. Mm -hmm. But then I looked out at my front yard and almost overnight it feels like it's full of leaves. Full of leaves. And the overnights are cooler, right? Definitely. In the mornings. Um, but we're going to hold on to this above seasonal daytime high weather uh, for the next couple of days. And then we'll lose it for a couple of days, but then it will be back again. So, yeah, we've been spoiled so far for October. I guess spoiled if you like the warmer temperatures. Today's high was 23 degrees. We're now sitting at 22. Winds gusting closer to 40 kilometers per hour for these last couple of hours. Uh, 23 degrees is the temperature downtown. And Big Four Motors, Calgary's original Jeep store and more in Tazaw Park, is also at 23 degrees. All right, when we look at that next 24 hours, we're looking at 8 degrees to kick off the morning, so not even too cool in the morning hours. A high of 21 for tomorrow. The key thing, though, for the next couple of days, it will be gusty at times, especially in the afternoon. More details coming up. Thanks. Danielle joins us now with another look at the forecast. So like mm -hmm. we were saying, a little bit cool overnight, which we expect, but yeah. this nice weather has been pretty welcome. Yeah, we've done really well. For Spoiled. The, the leaves are falling, so we have pretty. all the beautiful shots. We have the best viewers that are sending in amazing photos for us to look at. I wish I could show all of them. <laughs> um, anyway, yes, it is October, and uh, let's just hope this holds out for the kitties for Halloween. <laughs> Might be a long shot, but we can hope. Anyway, here's your Capital Shadow Sky Cam. We've had a lot of blue sky today. Lots of sunshine and temperatures so warm. We should be at 15 degrees for this time of year, and we got to 23. Now, this did come with a little bit of a gustier day at 39 so closer to that 40 kilometer per hour mark for our maximum wind gusts in Calgary uh, 61 was the max in Pincher Creek 52 in Lethbridge uh, what you can do when we're looking at tomorrow is tack on another kilometers uh, another 10 kilometers per hour so closer to 50 for tomorrow in Calgary closer to 70 in Pincher Creek uh, and through the Lethbridge area as well so yeah it will be quite gusty at times tomorrow not excessively we should be under the warning criteria and temperatures will be pretty similar to tomorrow uh, to today as well. All right, Lethbridge is sitting at 23 right now. Calgary 22, Medicine Hat 24, Milk River 25. Yeah, pretty surprising considering, you know, we're well into October. Here's a look at radar and satellite and you can really clearly see where the jet stream is in these clouds here. So the ridge of high pressure, the edge of that and the jet stream are right there, way up here. So that's keeping things stable and clear for us. That's why we had the sunshine today and that's why we've had the warmer temperatures today. This is gonna start to slump to the south and basically become flattened as we go through these next couple of days. So we'll see a temperature difference uh, by Thursday, especially. Uh, I'm gonna show you this in the upper air analysis, the jet stream right along here and this is going to start to flatten out. So the winds are going to start to pick up at times as well. So that's why we're looking at gusty conditions on and off through these next few days. Uh, we should hold on to the warmth for the next couple of days with temperatures above normal. Uh, but by Thursday, yeah, we'll see a difference. So I'll show you that in the long range in just a moment. Future cast looking like this. As we head through tomorrow, we're looking at mainly sunny skies with some cloudy periods. But as that jet stream and the ridge of high pressure slumps to the south, it's going to open us up to this cloud cover that will roll in central. Alberta will get some rainfall from this. Uh, we're looking at the cloud cover and at times the wind. So Capital Chev five day forecast, 21 for tomorrow, still in the 20s. Winds out of the west gusting at 50 kilometers per hour and about 18 or 19 for Wednesday. So still a toasty day for Wednesday and above normal. We will dip below normal for Thursday with a high of 14. That still comes with a decent amount of sunshine as well that will head into the weekend. But check out the weekend. By Saturday, we should get back into the 20s once again. Let's head outside to Danielle Savoni with our first look at the weather. Hard to believe this was October 7th in terms of the weather. You're right. You know, we've been uh, doing pretty well so far and we're well above normal and we will continue to be above normal for at least the next couple of days. So if you like this mild weather, well, we got more of it in this longer range forecast. Uh, the one thing I do have to mention is it does come with some windy conditions. So at times today, we've had gusts closer to 40 kilometers per hour. That did, though, carry our daytime high up to 23 degrees earlier today. We're now sitting at 21. We're looking at a high of 21 in the forecast for tomorrow. Tomorrow, lots of sunshine with a few cloudy periods, but a little gustier in the afternoon with winds out of the west up to 50 kilometers per hour. Your longer range forecast is just ahead, Cam. 
All right, Danielle is back once again with another look at the weather. Let's talk about Milton and mm -hmm. where it's headed right now. Yeah, so this is Milton. This is in the Gulf of Mexico. You can see that organized uh, core, the organized eye right there. This is now a Category 5. That's the top of the scale, uh, and this is expected to actually track up and around, and it's headed straight for Tampa. This is what it looks like. So it looks like it's going to make its way to Tampa and along the Florida coast right here uh, late Wednesday as a Category 3 or 4. So, of course, as you saw just from that um, cast right there, we are looking at a lot of prep going on there right now to reduce the amount of damage that this one could cause, especially off the heels of a hurricane just less than two weeks ago. So very damaging weather on track for parts of Florida. Us here, we're actually very calm, very tame, thanks to this ridge of high pressure. This is the jet stream right along here, also the edge of that ridge of high pressure. Now this is gonna flatten out and move down. As it does it, we're gonna get some more cloud cover. The winds are gonna pick up a little bit as well. So already a little bit gusty today in some areas. Um, for Calgary, we saw gusts closer to 40 kilometers per hour at times for this afternoon, 52 in Lethbridge, and just over 60 in Pincher Creek. Now for tomorrow, especially tomorrow afternoon, we can tap on another 10 kilometers per hour. So we're looking at gusts closer to 50 kilometers per hour in Calgary tomorrow afternoon, 60 for Lethbridge and 70 for the Pincher Creek area. So it'll get a little gussier and temperatures will still remain in the 20s when we're looking at daytime highs for another day because of this. Um, it will be winds out of the west so that will keep our temperatures warm and well above normal. Normal is 15 degrees for this time of year. Uh, 16 right now in Banff and into the 20s, Calgary, Lethbridge, Milk River, Medicine Hat, all the way up through Brooks, Drumheller, and Edmonton right now. So that's well above normal. Here's a look at that upper air analysis. This is the jet stream right along here. This is going to slump south and flatten out. You can see the winds will pick up as well as it starts to happen. We'll have more clouds roll in as well. So giving you the future cast here tomorrow, some a lot of sunshine with some cloudy periods at times. But as that jet stream and the ridge slumps to the south, it opens us up for more cloud cover on Wednesday. Gusty conditions once again on Wednesday into the north of us and to the west of us, looking at that rainfall at times as well. All right, Capital Chef five day forecast 21 for tomorrow. Again, gusts up to 50 kilometers per hour in the afternoon hours. 18 degrees is our high for Wednesday, so still above normal. Then we dip just below normal for Thursday. Still holding on to those mid teens for Friday, but we will be back into the 20s by the weekend. Cam? Capital Chef, Skywatch camera, and what a stunning day today. It is October 7th. I have to keep reminding myself of that because the weather has been fantastic. We've had a overall a tame September so far in October, pretty quiet. It's been gusty for a couple of days here, uh, and, and that will be the story for us uh, for tomorrow as well. We're looking at gustier conditions than we had out there today, tomorrow. Okay, 21 is the current temperature. Today's high was 23. Normal is 15 degrees, and the record for this day is 29.4. Check out the rest of the country. This is a look at daytime highs, and Calgary, the hottest spot on the map. So, we had some heat out there today. Uh, we're in the teens out to the east, uh, still in the 20s though, in parts of Saskatchewan. Now, we're under a ridge of high pressure. This is the ridge of high pressure. This is gonna flatten out though over the next couple of days. So we're gonna lose some of the heat. We'll still be in the 20s tomorrow though, and we'll get back to the 20s for the weekend. But in between, We'll, we'll cool down a little bit. Also, the winds are going to pick up. So we had a gust closer to 40, a couple gusts closer to 40 kilometers per hour in Calgary today. Tack on another 10 kilometers per hour. So uh, 50 for tomorrow, 70 in Pincher Creek for tomorrow, and Lethbridge looking at gusts closer to 60 kilometers per hour for tomorrow. All right, looking at temperatures tomorrow, Kelowna, Kamloops into those 20s. Uh, Edmonton should see a high of 22 degrees, Red Deer as well, around 21, 22, Olds down through Calgary and high River. Look at Drumheller, 26 for tomorrow. Medicine Hat, Milk River as well. Uh, yes, and it will be gusty at times. All right, Capital Chev, 10-day trend, 21 in Calgary for tomorrow. Then we dip as we lose that ridge, 18 for Wednesday, 14 for Thursday. That will be the coolest out of the rest of this week. Back into the 20s for the weekend and early next week. That's your Capital Chev, 10-day trend. Cam? Thank you so much, Danielle. Open up the season on Wednesday, right? Wednesday night in Vancouver and then back here on Saturday against Philly. Oh, wow. Already hockey season. Okay, one more look at the weather, Danielle. What do we got? <clears throat> okay, well, if you've been enjoying this toasty weather in October, we have another day of it. In fact, we have more of it 
that will return on the weekend. So 21 degrees for tomorrow. This does come with gustier conditions. So our gusts were around 40 kilometers per hour this afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon, 50 kilometers per hour. We dip a little for Wednesday. More clouds will roll in and then just 14 for Thursday, but back into the 20s by the weekend. That's your Capital Chef five day forecast. Okay, weather window brought Ooh. to you by Lux Windows and Doors, right? Mm -hmm. Crafting quality windows and doors for your style, budget, and Alberta's climate. And this was Ellen Budd's um, view and High River last night. How cool is that? What a view Beautiful. it is. Mm -hmm. Out of her window. That's why it's called Weather Window. Anyway, it. thank you, Ellen, for sending that in. That's a very good looking shot, a very mm -hmm. good looking sunset. Would that be sunset or sunrise? Sunset. Mm, beautiful indeed. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Have a good night.